Hi kids. Today we're gonna draw a simple flag. Um, we have a lot of holidays coming up that we use to hang out flags and have flags for decoration. Memorial Day comes up, Flag Day, 4th of July, Labor Day. These are all holidays that we tend to hang up flags. So it's fun to learn how to draw a flag. Now we have a small piece of paper here, so we're not gonna be drawing our flag exactly. We're just gonna give the impression of the decoration. Uh, it can be really tricky to draw a realistic flag because uh, in the uh, background over here, which is blue, you would have to make 50 stars, and 50 stars is a lot of stars to make. But I'll show you some ideas on how you can uh, do your stars. Um, first thing is the stripes. Our real flag has red and white stripes that total 13. They alternate, and there's a reason for that because the United States, when it was just beginning, had 13 original colonies, and it's to try to remember them. Uh, we're not gonna use a white crayon because we have white paper. So we'll just leave a space to look like the white stripe. Now, first thing we wanna do is we wanna remember how to draw um, our rectangle. And we're just gonna, in the corner, the flag has a blue field in this corner, and then it has the stripes. So you don't want to come half because the blue field is a little bit smaller than half. So just come on this side. And what you want to do is draw a square or small rectangle in this part here. If you take then a blue crayon and trace over it, you can see how we're gonna have the blue field. Now, we have st stars in here, and stars are kinda hard uh, to learn how to draw. You may not know how to do stars just yet, um, but it's nice if you um, draw a simple star. Um, before you learned how to do a regular star, you have what's, what is like a snowflake star, and that's where you make an X, and then you put a line through it. And those will make very nice stars. If we were in school, we might put our hand in white paint and make a handprint in there. That looks really fun, too. So I would say at this point, you can do lots of different things in here. I'm just going to do little blue snowflake stars, um, and then that way I'll have it to look like a flag, but I don't have the more complicated stars because I think they're a little hard um, for you to do at this point. But everybody will know that this is a flag, and they'll understand that you drew it yourself, and that's the most important thing, isn't it? most important thing is you're doing your artwork on your own. Um, your flag will get different next year when we learn how to draw stars or things like that, or we do hand prints. So we don't have to worry about that now. That's not our, that's not our concern. We already know that this sort of looks like a flag already. So now we have to think about the stripes, okay? So the first place I put a stripe is I usually just take this, where this line is here, make a pencil mark there because it'll look nice and even if I have a stripe there. So leave a little space, draw a stripe, okay? Those two lines make a stripe. Here, I'm gonna show you, because we're gonna outline all the lines in red so you can see where I'm going with this, okay? So we're gonna have half stripes up here, and then we're gonna have full stripes down here, and then that's how we'll be making our flag, okay? And we wanna to try to make them even. So let's do down here, because this is the full line. We'll go like this. Go like this. 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 
Now, we want to make them as even as possible. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're probably not going to get seven in there, but I might be able to get one more in here. Because you don't want them too thick or too thin, and we already know we can't do it totally realistic because we just don't have the size of paper. So we're going to then repeat the same size pattern up here. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my gosh, I got exactly thirteen. I don't know how that happened. That was very lucky on my part. Um, I didn't want to make them too thin and too big, but that's that's lucky that I got thirteen stripes. If you don't get thirteen stripes, that's fine, but you just don't want a huge thick stripe. Okay. Now we know that the stripes alternate color. It's a pattern: red, white, red, white. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to color in it, color it in red. Okay. Now the second one is white, so we leave that alone. Third one, we color in red. Okay, leave that white, red. Leave that white, red. Okay, look how terrific that is. Here's a wonderful flag that I know that you can make yourself. If you have people who can help you with the stars, you keep the stars white and the backgrounds blue. But other than this, this looks like a terrific flag that you could hang up and everybody will know that you made it yourself. So I hope you enjoy doing your flags and um, show me your pictures. I love to see them. Thanks, bye.